Hi guys, here's the other half of the heat pump water heater, the internal tank. I'll go over the uh, water connections and then I'll show you how I wired up the uh, control box. Uh, starting with the water, it, the heat pump takes the water from this, the cold side, it actually comes from the dip tube inside the tank, from the bottom, gets sucked up, up through this insulated pipe, outside to the heat pump, then comes back down, just pumped back down this pipe, into the bottom and vented back into the bottom of the tank. Uh, that's what it added. It took out the uh, this uh, really uh, release valve or not release valve um, emptying valve and put a T in so you can connect it to both. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. The uh, pipes are pretty simple on this. Uh, on the electrical side, we've got a control box here. Kind of a mess here, so I've got a schematic. <coughs> That's actually quite simple. The 240 volt comes in here. Uh, one of, one wire goes straight to the uh, water tank through the heating element, the thermal switch, uh, back up to the uh, contactor, and that's used to turn the uh, tank on in the event it's too cold outside for the heat pump to run. So in that case, the heat pump would send a signal in to close this contactor, and it would connect 240 volts straight up to the tank. And when it's in heat pump mode. So a little bit ingenious here. Um, when this con uh, thermal switch is closed, you'll get a, basically a straight path from 240 volts in through the heating element, which is very low resistance compared to the uh, transformer up here. When that switch is closed, you'll get 240 volts here across the contactor. So that's applied to this transformer, which transforms it down to 24 volts to tell the heat pump to turn on. And then when the uh, thermal switch heats up from, from the heat pump uh, heating it, that switch opens and then there's no longer 240 volts across this contactor so you lose your 24 volts and that allows the heat pump to turn off. In the control box you can easily see the uh, 240 to 24 volt transformer. There's a contactor taken out of an old air conditioner. I think that was used to run the uh, fan. It's originally three phase, I'm just using one. Also got a light to indicate when it's on. Um, the signal from the wa water heater comes through this Cat5 cable. I uh, just used one pair for each signal. Uh, let's see. I also hooked up the um, vent on the tank up to a tube running outside. So that if it does vent water, it will go uh, straight outside and wouldn't make a mess inside. Anyway, I think that covers that. Thanks for watching. Here's the pretty much finalized installation of the heat pump. I've got it installed on uh, foam rubber uh, pads to damp vibration. Also got temporarily a power meter installed up here. And then so far over four days that's measured about uh, 8 kilowatt hours per day, which is about 50 cents a day. And that's quite a bit cheaper than the about 90 cents a day that the gas water tank would have uh, would cost at current gas rates. And the savings will be even better when you consider that the gas rates will go up once the economy turns around. Anyway, thanks for watching.